Greetings Metal Community, it's Roger back with another video, this time it's a collection update. Uh, half of this stuff is from uh, Redefining Darkness and the other half is bits and pieces that I've been picking up lately. Uh, one that I did pick up from um, Extremely Rotten Production is um, Inanna from Chile, great death metal band. Uh, killer killer stuff uh, this is their 2008 release I have an album that came out uh, I would say mid 2010 I think it was 13 or something maybe uh, but this is their first album uh, not as good as the uh, the second album but uh, yeah killer killer band I do believe they only have released two full lengths yet, but um, hopefully they they will be back with some new stuff. Great blue tape. You know, I don't like color vinyl, but I do like color tapes. Don't know why. But uh, yeah, check out Inanna. A great, great uh, death metal band from Chile. Then we have um, Sculpture... Sculptured Horror, I've seen this being shown, so Death Metal US, good stuff, I think it's a one man project, released in 2018, this is uh, copy 71 of 100. Then we have a Critical Extravation. This is a, I would say, death trash, slightly technical stuff from Belgium, I do believe. Solid, uh, solid release this. Um, yeah. And you know, uh, from uh, Redefining Darkness. Yeah, I have one more tape to show, but I have bought that together with some CDs, so I'm going to show that in the... Um, then we have Hospital of Death. Uh, I've seen uh, a lot of good uh, things about this band and I uh, bought it, didn't listen to it and bought it. And um, yeah, Thrash Metal was not that impressed, actually, to be honest. Uh, the music is good, but uh, the vocals are kind of too forced in a way. So uh, yeah, he kind of struggles a little with the high pitching and stuff, but um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I wasn't in the mood for this type of music, but uh, I've seen a lot of people praise this band and say it's good, so I need to give it one more spin, but um, I mean, as I said, the music is great, but uh, the, the vocals was kind of nah, not uh, making it for me. But you never know, I might like it in one month's time, but uh, yeah. Then we're continuing with... Uh, Thrash Metal, if I can get a booklet out, this is uh, Morbid Breath from Sweden, I do believe, EP, you know, you have to be uh, cross in the background, uh, yeah, this is pretty, more towards the more aggressive or slightly toward death metal, um, a great thrash metal, album uh, compared to the hospital death this is um, hospital of death this is way better for me at least and uh, yeah solid thrash with death metal influences but uh yeah great great stuff then another swedish thrash metal band is um, sarkator or sarkator uh, the title of this is, uh, I think, Sarkator. Uh, debut album came out was it this year. No, last year. Through Redefining Darkness. And this is also a great, great thrash metal album. Uh, more, you know, towards the aggressive, intense thrash. But, uh, yeah, killer, killer thrash metal album. Uh, do check it out. Uh, have have the uh, it's an old school feeling to it you know 
kind of more towards Sully creator and destruction and stuff like that I feel at least in the in the feel of it Schizophrenia, uh, Death Thrash. This is from Belgium. Oh, Belgium. I don't think if I don't remember if this. I don't think this was Belgium. I I said it, but I kind of mixed it up with this. This is uh, Belgium. Death Thrash, or Thrash Death. Uh, solid stuff. I uh, really enjoy this album. Has a, a old school feel to it. Have a cool um, CD with a right through his eye, and uh, yeah, redefining darkness as well. So great stuff if you like you more you more harder or deathy thrash metal. Solid, solid stuff. Then we have Corrupted Saint from US. I do believe. And um, the title of this EP is uh, Mutilated Before the Masses. And this started out, the first song here is pure thrash metal, I feel. Uh, but then they're kind of turning over to more of a slamming, chuggy death metal, uh, which is kind of, yeah, it's fine by me, but uh, kind of a weird to start off with. A thrashy song and then go over to chuggy heavy death metal but um solid solid dp that was released on raw records then we have i do believe this is also a us band throne this is black and melodic black and death metal kind of slightly towards behemoth i would say in a way with the orchestration and pretty good album uh, not the style that I normally listen to but it's okay once in a while to change up the pace and um, yeah solid album then we have the album that's playing in the background it's Rotten Dawn uh, Occult uh, if you have seen my unholy uh, tape box collection or video, uh, I mentioned this Rotten Dawn uh, because this is the bass and vocalist, bass player slash vocalist from Unholy. Uh, it's a new band. This came out in 2019. I didn't get hold of a copy until recently. Been listening to this quite a bit. Uh, this is. Um, well, it starts off as a doom death, you know, when you have like more uh, classic doom riffing and guitar tone. The vocals are not so deep and growling. Uh, it's more like a harsh, uh, harsh and but you know still death vocals. Uh, great, great stuff. Uh, at the end of the album or the three last songs they go over to more uh, like a melodic death doom in a way so they have a slightly a change of style in the music but uh, it's a great great album and if you like doom death or death doom do check it out because this is solid stuff they have some slight twists uh, of the uh, like unholy there are some hints of unholy here but uh, just a, a great great i say doom death but i mean there are more to it more genres than that but uh most of the stuff is doom death then i got a new ep from um, sadistic forest from finland and step down from the full length but a very cool uh, cover you know transcending obscurity Kind of popping out the head and the hand, uh, you know, embossed. And also on the back side here is, I mean, the cover is so cool that you, yeah, it's kind of worth the money just to have it because it's, uh, 
awesome stuff. Uh, but as I said, this is uh, Finnish death metal. Uh, kind of a step. If you like the, pr uh, the full length that I released last year or the le year before, uh, I, I think you will like it, but it's, it's not as good. It's kind of a little uninspired in a way. Uh, I bought it before I heard anything from it because I liked the first album, but um, yeah. Sometimes it is a miss, but um, it's okay to have. It was not that expensive. As... Then I bought this um, uh, Tate on Blood, uh, strong to say, compilation. It's uh, two tracks that I have released on... Um, I think they have released them on Split EP be EPs before. Uh, but it's two long songs, so it's close to a half an hour with... Uh, Tate on Blood, great death metal, everybody knows this, so um, yeah, good stuff, nice to have that in my collection. Then, uh, you know, I talked about Suta Yomala a couple of uh, videos ago in my uh, death uh, metal journey Finland edition. This is the uh, EP Panzer uh, Kolona. Panzer Kolona. Uh, yeah, just wanted to have the original. I have it, had it on a the uh, you know reissue of uh, Death Metal Finland. This was attached together with the rest of the EP. But uh, kind of cool when you're digging a band to have all the releases. I'm missing uh, just one EP now, and the of course the first uh, demo is impossible to get hold of. So. Then I got uh, the uh, Heretical Sect. Uh, is the EP or full length? I'm not quite sure. I don't remember how long it was, but I'm um, redefining darkness. I think this came last year or 19, maybe. I think it came out last year. Uh, this is more black and death metal or. Black Death Doom, like a lot of bands do. I really like this. Uh, they have kind of a terrible video for um, one of the songs. I think they were out in the desert and uh, in the sunlight with the hoods and uh, yeah. Felt sorry for them in the heat, but uh, it's not a terrible uh, video, but uh, it was kind of cool, but uh, done in a, in a different way that you mostly see this band, so. In that case, cool, but uh, I was like thinking of them standing there and playing. It looked damn hot. But yeah, uh, solid release. I really like this. Uh, it doesn't bring anything new to the table. It's just uh, kind of this occult feeling to it. And um, yeah, I'm liking it. The title of it is uh, Rap Raptorous Flesh Consumed. Kind of a death metal title, but uh, I do believe this is. Yeah, black and death, in a way. So yeah, I'm guessing a lot of people have heard this uh, anyway. So um, then I'm going over to the last band. I ordered this straight from the band. This is uh, Tunnel Tomas from um, Russia. Speaking about Russia, I do believe this was from Russia as well. You know, critical extravation. Just to clear that up. Sorry for. Um, not remembering that, but yeah. This is uh, black metal. I do feel they have some death metal in them, but kind of, um, yeah. Cool black tape, uh, one sided. This is a copy 78 out of 100, if you can see that. As I said, I ordered this straight from the band on their Bandcamp site, so I'm going to link that up below. I also got the two CDs that I have. This is a... I don't know if it's a demo collection. Kind of... Uh, yeah. I don't know if there is any title. It's just a... Uh, yeah. 2015 to 2021, so it's a compilation their demo stuff uh, yes uh, 
it is black metal, but it has this modern, uh, you know, with death metal elements, and uh, the vocals are slightly toward death metal. And then we have the 2021 release. And it's, it's, uh, I haven't listened to this more than once, uh, but it sounds great. The title of this, uh, yeah, I'm not uh, reading that. So um, it is on English, but uh, I couldn't figure it out because the typing is uh, so low. But uh, yeah, if you are more into black metal, uh, do check it out. It's a pretty uh, good solid black metal with death metal elements from it like in the modern black metal style i would say yeah so that was all i had for this video i'm going to shoot a another that would be vinyl mostly collection updates uh, just to get stuff out of the way it's been piling up lately so um yeah hope i didn't uh, blow through that too fast but i'm um, just um Showing you what I have been receiving lately, so uh, yeah, we'll be back soon with a uh, vinyl update. Sure.